three, two, one. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to Seer of the Dark Channel. In today's video, we're going to be grinding into a brand new series. This is TMP Limitless 5 Lonely Survival Edition. By Lonely Survival Edition, I mean I added in literally four mods. Four mods. Pocket Storage, which is very similar to Dank. Lucky Blocks, which is my favorite. Prefab, because I like starter houses. And Gobber. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be an awesome series. I'm excited for it. We got TMP Limitless 5. We're on 1.18.1. I will go through everything and all the information and stuff. But if you guys are excited for this new series, make sure to slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Not waste any time. I already took help. I suck. All right. So we got some trees here. And we have this mod called Ultimine. All you have to do is hold down your grave key, which is right next to, or above your tab key, or to the left of number one on your keyboard. You hold it down, it says FTB Ultimize Active. Hold, shift, plus, scroll, if you want to change the shape. Right now we're on shapeless, and it can mine 128 blocks. So that's what we're going to do. Ah, beautiful! And of course... It wouldn't be right if you would just do that over and over and over again. It does cause hunger. So, there is, you know, some things. And when you eat different foods, you can get a chance to gain more hearts. The more food you eat, the closer you get to gaining your heart. And there is a book that you get from the starter kit. We're going to get into that. Welcome! Welcome to TP Limitless 5. Here's a starter kit for your upcoming adventure traveler. Quests usually have loot bags and XP as rewards. Sometimes some other rewards. The loot from the loot bags can vary a lot. Maybe you'll get a really good item or just some straight up bad loot. The randomness decides your fate. And yeah, you click the middle and you get your starter loot. And then this tells you all the different things that are in the mod. I can turn up my Minecraft music because I got my own background music. Perfect. So you can start off with a backpack, which I'm going to equip to the back slot. This is your curio slot. You can equip all different things in here. Uh, you also get a limitless sword, which is from... I think it's just added in by Team Pete Limitless. And then, of course, this is the book I was telling you about. This is the book that tells you how many more food I need to eat. I need to eat... You need 10 for your first tart. And I've eaten 2. So, yeah. We have some apples in the notes before. All right, I'm just let's just get into this. So it looks like we spawn next to the redwoods, next to a beach. The map doesn't seem to want to load in right now, but it does look like this is something interesting. Ooh, it's down here. Um, if anyone wants to know, I'm using the Pure BD Craft Texture Pack with the Silders Shader Pack. It did take a while to get it correct, so if it does look a little weird, that's the best I could do. Alright, so this looks like it's an underground village. And there's something really cool about this pack, what I want to show you, alright? You see this villager right here? He's looking all elf looking, so cool. All you do is shift, right click, and you can go into your inventory. And you can use it in a incubator. And you incubate it, you can make easy villagers. And it's so nice and amazing. And, of course, in this place, there's lots of different types of loot. This doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. We got lots of different loot, and we're going to go through all of it. But first, I'm going to go into some quests. So let's head back to the beginning. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, okay? No, I don't want to take these hay barrels. Free bread, dude. All right. I guess let's head this way. Ooh, we got a barrel. We also got the looter mod in here. So if you're playing on a server, everyone gets their own loot. Which is amazing. Best thing ever added in the game. We got a bunch of free hay bales. Which is nice. Ooh, we got a library over there. And ooh, it's nice to start off with some iron. And a loot barrel with some coal and some wheat seeds. Beautiful. So, let's do the first quest. Of course, there are, the quests are divided into categories. Right now, there's only two categories. It's the starter, vanilla, and modded. Modded is applied logistics, apotheosis, agriculture, artifacts, botania, hexery, immersive engineering, iron jetpacks, mystical agriculture, protected bees, refined storage, perfect wings ascension, solar flux you're born, and traveler's boots. And then, of course, vanilla, you have Minecraft, adventure, husbandry, nether, and the end. Yeah. 
Fresh Quest was to collect wood and gives you an apple. Nice. Uh, these things are going to make sound in your inventory, so I was just putting them somewhere else. Unless you want to hear a villager in your ear 24-7. Alright. So the next thing to do is to craft up some of these planks. And we're going to use some of these planks to make a crafting table. And with this mod, you can make a crafting table on a stick, aka a crafting pad. So you can do inventory crafting because I'm a lazy man. Alright. So let's make our first pickaxe. Got a wood pick. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I guess I'd start by getting them the stone. And that right there is another quest completed. Stone Age. We took get some lapis here too. And of course we want to get that iron. So we can now upgrade our pick. To a stone. Beautiful. And then you can use the stone to mine up some iron. Actually gives you three iron exactly, which is exactly enough for a pickaxe, which is amazing. So the next thing we're gonna do is make a furnace. Let's make the furnace, put the coal in there, and your iron, and wait for that to snow. Whew! And of course I have the uh, zoom key on, and of course I got backpack key mine as well. Alright, we got a sword. We want to just put everything that's important in there. I don't really care for the quest book. I can go, like, away. Because I can access it through my inventory. Speaking of that, let's go and get quests. So once you get cobblestone, it gives you more cobblestone. Once you get a pickaxe, it gives you torches. And once you get a furnace, it gives you coal. Which makes sense. Alright, so there you go. The three iron is done. And that right there is a quest. And iron pick done. Beautiful. So with the iron, you get a treasure chest reward, which has a chance to give you random things. And this one gives you three more. So we get three. So one, two, three. Ooh, we end up getting two diamonds. That's sick. And two diamonds gives you a full block of iron. So that means more iron, which is amazing. Because now I can make a shield and a chest piece. Look at that! Just by using the resources that are given to me from this village, I've already got an iron chest piece, two diamonds, just from quest rewards. That's why I love quests. They're amazing. So the next thing to do would be getting a full set of iron armor, and it gives you prop one book to place on it. And of course, you know, diamond pickaxe, diamond armor, and this is pretty much just the normal Minecraft, you know, stuff. We have smoker and blast burners and all that. My focus is probably going to be on the modded. The modded is the most fun. And the ones that we're going to start off with is probably going to be artifacts. Because, you know, I like to adventure. Um, mystical agriculture probably will be one of the later ones. But I will get into it. Similar for my torch. Perfect structures will be another adventuring one. Rings of Ascension and Traveler's Boots. Honestly, I want to get into this as soon as possible. Traveler's Boots are really nice. Oh, we're starting to get hungry again. So let's eat food. We have an eight in. That's three. Perfect. All right, we're gonna just throw a bunch of stuff in my backpack. I don't really need this wooden pickaxe no more. Throw that. All right. Uh, let's make some bread because we haven't eaten that yet, and we've already eaten this yet either. I think I haven't eaten yet. I'm just putting it in my inventory. That's just something eaten, so we can go away from that. All right, let me grab my furnace and get the hell out of here. All right, now let's just go explore this place, the underground village. So who knows what we're gonna find. Got a bit of quick shot, some books, and some paper. Not bad. Looks like we got a, got a cartography table with three empty maps. Hmm. I mean, I don't really want empty maps, but I'll take them. I like free stuff. Okay, looks like we got iron bars over here. Oh, okay, I hear some spiders. Oh, all right. Those are poison spiders. I think it's a poison spider spawner. Oh, yeah, no. That's gotta go. See you later. We don't like spiders here. I don't know why you keep me a spider spawner here. Please don't hit me. I'm almost broken it. Yay. Ow. Look how creepy they look. Creepy spider. Die. Die. 
I think we had chests over here too. Two obsidian. That's pretty sick. Guess what? That's a quest. I'm not sure what you get for it, but I know it's a quest. Oh, you get a potion of lava vision. That's kind of sick. Um, Zoe, stop! Killing your first monster gives you three gold, which is amazing. All right, so let's start eating different things I haven't eaten yet, which is an elderberry. Okay, we've eaten bread, so we can't eat that no more. We're also just going to have to grab normal food because, you know, although we need to eat different types of foods, sometimes you just don't have it available. So you're just kind of stuck just eating what you have given to you. I'm going to pick up all of you because you're very loud and annoying. You guys are loud. Yeah, elves. Loud elves. Come here. Alright. Everyone's going in the barrel. Don't worry. You guys will have a purpose soon enough. We can't get too ahead of ourselves. But for, for now, you're all going in here because you're all loud. Actually, you know what I could do? Friendly creatures. Let's turn that down a little bit. There we go. Hope we won't be as loud now. Let's go check out the rest of this, this side. Oh. Ooh, two emeralds. That's sick. Uh, looks like we got a bed. I think it's nighttime. Um. Okay, I know exactly what this is. These are gonna give you random different things, which is good. Because it'll give you food that you haven't eaten before. But mostly, it gives you garbage. Kind of garbage. I'm gonna steal a bed. Ooh, iron shovel. That's pretty good. Um, let's actually go to sleep. And we've officially survived the first night. And that's a quest. And once you complete that quest, that's some adventure, by the way. It gives you a sleeping bag, which is amazing because their sleeping bags are so good. All right. Ooh, we got another barrel over here with an emerald and some coal, which is nice. And it looks like we got some more coal in the water over here. And it doesn't look like there's anything else. Just, just coal. All and, of course, cooking different foods will also make change, you know, what they have in them and whatnot. All right, so that's everything on this side. Oh, potato, let's eat that. I haven't eaten it before, there we go. Melon is next. All right, we went down there. What's over here? More beds. Ooh, another shovel, cool. Oops, let me drop that. All right, get out of my way, elves. You have nothing. I'll take bread and potatoes. And... Ooh, an iron pick! Partially broken, but I can combine it with mine. Now it'll be... Really not broken. And then, of course, you can combine these together, too. There is a mod in here that allows you to use different tools, but I don't know if I'm going to be getting into those mods. Well, I don't know I will be getting into them, but not long. I never went over there. And that's over there where we've been. Okay, let's keep going. This way. Uh, let's take a right. Ugh. I hate ads. Uh, brewery stand's nice. I always want to grab those. I'll just wait for a second. Okay, I should be right now. Uh, did we go down here yet? No, this was the way that we found originally. So we can go down here now. Miner's fervor. You will mine very fast, but never instantly. That sounds really bad. Let me keep you though. Nice books. I like to get another cartography table over here as well. Sure, I guess we'll take more empty maps. 
All these bookshelves and stuff would be nice to take, but I'm not really ready to grab them yet. Let me go out get them afterward. Let's just head down here and see what else we can find. Again, these things just have the same loot. Doesn't really change. I'm only going in them to see if I can get some more emeralds because there's a mod in here that you can make emerald tools and armor, I believe. That's a different way. It's like a church. Okay, well, thank you for your brewing stand. What's down here? A dead end. A dead end. So there's nothing over here. Hmm. I have a feeling to be. Why wouldn't there be something under the church? No? Hmm. Oh well. This way! Darn golem. So weird. Again, more food. Come away! Books and food. Food. Garbage. Yeah. And a dead end. Okay. So that's everything for this side. Now we can head back and go this way. It's over here. Oh, a blast furnace! And a lava source, which we actually kind of need. I need to get iron. Ah, oh, perfect. There's iron. Uh, but I need one more iron. Like, literally one more. Because you need to pick up lava. So I guess I will be back for that. Okay, that's that way. That's that way. That's that way. Now I guess we just go up this way. What is over here? Okay, that's what, that was that. Maybe this will have iron for me. Nope, golden horse armor. I don't want that. But I will take your villager. You pick up golems? No, you can't. Okay, that is a whole bunch of more beds. And this is... Oh, this is the entrance to the outside. I know exactly what this is. Alright. Back to looking at these beds. Maybe I'll actually get something decent. Nope. Ooh, here we go. Two emeralds. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, another pickaxe. Sure. Ooh, and two more emeralds. Nice. Now we got seven. And this is a smoker. I'm stealing your smoker. Because that is a free quest. Give me that. It's beautiful. And of course, we're going to combine these together and make that. And we're going to combine all this stuff together. So we can get a brand new shovel. And of course, you got to clean this quest. And it gives you banana bread. Banana nut bread, actually. Which is pretty gross. Alright. So that was that way. Then we went that way. We went that way. That's the entrance. That's another blast furnace. Two blast furnaces. Don't mind if I do. And another lava source. This might be it. That might have been it for the village, to be honest with you. I'm just filled with sparrow with villagers, dude. Like, holy. I'll come back for them. We just got the achievement, uh, fully stuffed and hearty meal. Let's go. Is that, is this all this, what's in here? I feel like I'm missing something. Did we go down here? Oh yeah, that's right, down here's nothing. That is the lava. Yep, that's all we- that's all she wrote, bro. Yo, what's up, Galaxy Squad? How you doing? Oh, 
Oh my goodness. The rain turns everything really bad. Oh my. This don't look right. <laughs> I kind of like it though. It's funny. Alright, well, now that we got everything we needed from that village, we can uh, head out. Head out, try to find a place to live. I just. Uh, can it be nighttime? This is really annoying to look at. Okay, great. My day is fantastic. How's your day going? That's just what happens when shaders don't want to work sometimes. Stuff like this. It's kind of funny to look at though, I'm not gonna lie. What's over here? Bushes! And trees! <laughs> I won't even know if I found a structure. <laughs> Good, just played a bit of my own mod pack of 70 mods. Nice. Yeah, this one has like 427, so. Might be a way I could fix this, hold on. Quality. Better snow. No. Looking for the rain. Off. I know if you go into the shader options, there, I think, is one called rain. That's sky and lighting, depth of field, motion blur, shadows. I don't think there's a way I can fix it. How long would it load? Oh, it takes a minute to load. I fixed it! Turn off rain and snow. Who needs it? All right. Let's actually need to turn this up. Is it nighttime? No, it's just because it's rain. So now it's just kind of going to look like wet everywhere. That's okay. At least we can see now. Being able to see is nice. All right. I see a sign. With some chickens. What do you got for me? 400 bucks that way. 300 bucks that way. Yep. Ooh! This is a good thing to find. These guys aren't that strong. And it's really good early loot. They're not very strong whatsoever. I also take that. We need a sledging table later. Let's go, you weirdos. I hear ya. Look at them sleeping. Oh, Robbie always sleep. Thanks for your food. Thank you. Thank you! I need leather. I'll take a boomer. I'll take your boomerangs too. All right, you guys have a nice sleep. See you later. Thanks again. I like free loot. I think it's in your texture pack somewhere. Oh yeah, it's called uh, Pure Beauty Craft. It's definitely nice time now. 
All right, go to sleep. Beautiful morning is here. Oh, finally. <laughs>